Hello, my name is Yuvak Tuladar, and today I'm going to talk about the Diaspora Project. I've been talking about this for the last three years, and still a lot of my friends don't know what Diaspora Project is. So it's a Diaspora Art Project. It started, it's actually a Nepali diaspora art project but to make it short I made it into the diaspora art project I came up with this idea sometime in the late 2018 and uh, what I wanted to do is uh, the Nepali community here in America is very new so I want to document and at least preserve some of our experiences in form of art, which I know is painting, uh, photography, and film. So that way uh, we have uh, moving images, we have still images, and we have imaginative uh, you know, art images. Uh, what inspired me to do this is uh, I'm very interested in history and especially uh, I've been uh, watching a lot of documentaries and, and looking at a lot of old books. And what uh, one thing that really struck me was, I was looking at the old black and white photos from New York. And this is in like late 1800s and early 1900s. Uh, they see like there were a lot of European immigrants from all over the world and they were all wearing their costumes from the home country and doing everybody's doing a lot of different things to survive in America and those images always uh, captured my imagination and and I just feel like hey we're also in the similar stage because we are one of the newest immigrant uh, groups in the United States and most of us our first or second, uh, you know, we haven't been. I think the first people who immigrated here was in like early 60s. There were just a handful at that time. So uh, I just feel it's time that uh, I do something through what I can, uh, which is art. Ooh, it's feeling a little quiet here. It's time to have some tequila. Maybe it loosened me up a little bit. Uh, not too much. Ah. Ooh, it's not bad. You know what? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, talking about the diaspora art project. So uh, for the, so what I want to do is uh, just documenting and painting is not enough. So I need to show it to people, have uh, exhibitions, art shows, where I invite people from our Nepali community or people who love Nepal, expats, and uh, uh, people who are connected to Nepal. So, and another reason is, uh, you know, we need to keep our distance and what we have now that we are right now new and we have half of Nepal here and, and we are in America. So this thing is not going to last forever. Even my son's time, it's very going to be different. My son is 22 year old. Uh, he doesn't know all you know, things I know. So we need to keep it and so that the future generation have something to look at. So that's, uh, I think that's very important. So another thing I want to do is in our community, uh, we are all working hard, new, gen you know, new, new immigrants and everybody, you know, first thing is to survive and then you know, have something like a house 
or something more than in a business and uh, have some financial freedom first. But the problem is just having money is not going to make people uh, want to keep art alive. So we come from a country with a lot of art you know, in our history, but we really lack the consciousness for art, uh, art appreciation. That's not part of our culture at this point, which is very sad. So hopefully my exhibit, this, once I start doing exhibitions, I want people to be aware and, and, you know, understand why we need to keep art alive. And the way to do that is by supporting artists or, you know, investing in art and that's very important uh, and <clears throat> uh, my friends are all asking you know how I'm going to support this project uh, so it has many dimensions uh, first is you know having shows so it has to start from me doing artwork so I have already I've been working pretty hard for quite some time and uh, so since it's got three, three or four different uh, things like uh, painting, film, uh, filming, photography, and so we also need a lot of uh, equipments. And so I have uh, several friends uh, helping in this project, and so we are all working together. So uh, one of the most expensive part is all the filming and lighting, all kind of equipment, so that. We can have high quality footage and documentaries uh, of our existence. And uh, right now, uh, another is, uh, so in the future, I want to have shows all over the United States, travel to different places, and that will require a lot of expenses. And uh, most of the paint artwork in the show is not going to be for sale because that work has to go and be shown elsewhere but what i want to do is to make some art available for sale sale so that um, occasionally so that from that we can support our endeavor endeavor like for the art shows promotions uh, equipments and many other expenses for the last month i've been painting also a lot of uh, smaller paintings too so that those paintings i'm going to make them uh, available for people to buy for so that they can support this project so mm, i will have them ready for sale in less than a month uh, i have some of the samples uh, here i'm going to show you uh, and they they will be available and uh, also it, anyone can buy from anywhere uh, if it's locally it'll save more money because it won't uh, involve shipping uh, but if it's involved shipping then it's uh, gonna be a little more extra uh, hope you all can support uh, right now I'm still uh, working and uh, need all the support from everyone because this is not just my artwork and it's not my project it's everyone's it's our nepali existence in america we need to keep this and i need everyone's help and support and when we have show i want everybody to show up uh, and help me also install the exhibition and we will have tea and snacks like we have in Nepal. It'll be all Nepali experience. Art for Nepali people by Nepali people. Namaste and hope to see you all soon and I need all the help I can get from everyone. Namaste.